Hello and Namaste Paycheck Pros. I'm Manish Aujha and this is Paycheck to Profit, India's first YouTube channel dedicated to your financial freedom. And not just financial freedom in any format, financial freedom that you can earn through your paychecks. If you're wondering, is that even possible? Yes, it obviously is. If you're new to this channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can get notified every time I make new videos. When do I make new videos? Ideally, I used to make them on 4th, 14th and 24th of every month. But I'm experimenting something new in the month of August and from the looks of it, the experiment is working. Based on which the videos may actually keep getting better, longer or maybe just the frequency will increase. How that goes, there's only one way to find out. Do subscribe to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about five common areas where people tend to overspend a little. Now what happens is if you overspend in one area of your life, that's not really permissible or advisable but it's still something that you can maybe deal with but if you end up overspending in multiple areas of your life that definitely adds up how do you figure out if you're overspending maybe this video will be your first so-called checklist so i'm now going to be talking to you about five areas where people are generally overspending if you find more than two things that you are overspending on now would be a good time to start thinking about it and introspecting about what do you do with those expenses. So let's get started. The first thing where people definitely tend to overspend a lot is their rent. Today almost 70% uh, working professionals are living in rented homes. People tend to overspend with regards to the locality where they are staying, the kind of houses that they are living in. I know many of those people end up making those decisions based on circumstances but Rent is one area where many people can tend to save a lot of their money just by changing some PIN codes. Uh, people save a lot of money by going into a smaller house or a different locality. Many people or many subscribers of my channel that I know have moved their homes due to COVID pandemic. So now next time whenever you end up into a situation where you're getting yourself a new rented apartment, make sure that you think about this particular situation and stay in the budget. How do you stay in the budget? I have made multiple videos on the whole concept of budgeting in my channel earlier. Maybe you will see a link of that video in this section on your screen right now. Please go and check that video. Besides that, one area where people definitely tend to overspend is apparel. So when I say apparel, I mean everything that goes into your wardrobe, including shoes. Yes, shoes. If you are one of those people who's spending a lot on if you have too many shirts, ties, dresses, skirts, shoes, more shoes and some more shoes, that's a, definitely an area that you can do something about. Spending on fashion seems like a very logical spend because whenever you want to go to a party, you want to wear a better dress or a new shirt, but it does add up. If you don't believe me, just go and check the entire cost of your wardrobe and you may be in for a not so pleasant shock. Having said that, the third thing that people tend to overspend is eating out and drinking and catching up with friends. Yes, that's the reason that we tell everybody. Why are you going out so much? I'm just catching up with friends. But that catching up with friends adds up and it does tend to hit your budget and your wallet extremely seriously. I don't want to get into the whole concept of making you feel guilty about this because believe me, I was as guilty as guilty can be in this direction. But now, since the pandemic since I've not been going out, I do realize the kind of money that I'm saving by not eating out. If you are guilty of the same situation, please do not forget to tell me about it in the comments and maybe we can have a small discussion about it and relive those times when we used to actually meet friends. And I hope we do that again soon, but in a more responsible manner. Having said that, the fourth place where people tend to overspend a lot is vacations. I remember of this friend who told me he had a different credit card only for his vacations. And he said at least three times he's been in these situations when he would come back and he would open the credit card bill, he would get a small, let's just say, anxiety attack for lack of a better word. People just go on vacation and keep spending their money and then they keep spending or uh, swiping their cards. It adds up. I remember just one of the vacations that I had taken, all those dinners, those scuba dives and those uh, boat rides to the nearby islands did add up to a lot of money. So be careful when you're going out on vacations whenever that happens. The fourth, oh, sorry, the last, the fifth reason and the most important reason which is actually costing you a lot of money or where you end up spending a lot is your ignorance. What do I mean by this? 
I have always believed that it's extremely important for you to keep spending money on your personal growth. This growth can happen in multiple ways. Maybe you can hone a new skill or hone your existing skills or invest in a new skill, learn something new, learn something better. It really adds up. It looks better on your resume. It helps you understand a new aspect of life or a new aspect in the domain that you're working in. And it helps you grow as a person. Please, at any given point of time, make sure that you are spending some amount of your money, time, effort and energy towards learning a new skill or honing and improving a skill that you already have. I hope this video has added some value to your life. If you like this video, please do not forget to hit, hit the like button and share it with all the people on social media. Trust me, that's the currency and that's the only return that I'm getting on this channel right now. But more importantly, the more you share, the more people get to know about this channel, this content and it helps. You never know who is it going to help from your social media contact list. So that's about it from me in today's video. I hope you've liked this video and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, please keep smiling, take care of your loved ones and stay happy. Ka-ching!